Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the GSCP in writing support. Today we're going to talk about using sources correctly in your research papers and do a little practice with paraphrasing. So first of all, I wanted to um, emphasize that there are three ways to include outside sources. You can use a direct quote where you use the verbatim text from an author and you use quotation marks around it and then add your citation. You can use a paraphrase, which is about the same amount of material as the original in your own words, um, but the same idea with a citation. Or you can do a summary, which is just like a paraphrase, except for the original being longer and the um, summary being much shorter usually. So how to paraphrase correctly? Well, first, like I um, suggested before, read and fully understand the passage. So you need to really have a deep understanding so that you can say it, your text in a totally different way. Avoid language in your paraphrase that's too similar. Restructure the sentence so if you really understand this material, you can say it in a totally different way. And then be sure to put quotation marks around any borrowed words or terminology. So here's an example and we'll do some practice. And if you'd like to pause the recording um, after I read this, you can do practice on your own. Of the more than 1,000 bicycling deaths each year, three-fourths are caused by head injuries. Half of those killed are school-age children. One study concluded that wearing a bike helmet can reduce the risk of head injury by 85%. In an accident, a bike helmet absorbs the shock and cushions the head. So here's the original, and here is a possible paraphrase. Head injury causes the majority of bicycling deaths, half of which affect children. However, when a bike helmet is worn, the occurrence of injury decreases by 85% since the helmet insulates and protects the head. And here's a possible summary. A proven way to reduce the occurrence of head injury from a bicycle accident from bicycle accidents is by wearing a bicycle helmet. Now, I want to point out a couple of things about these. First of all, in the paraphrase, you'll notice I have my citation. We always have to include that. Also, it's about the same amount of information as the original, but the terminology is different. So, for example, instead of saying three-fourths here, I use the word majority. And instead of saying um, half of those killed are school-age children, I said half of which affect children. And then I had a little trouble figuring out how to rephrase or have a, find a synonym for absorbs and cushions. So I finally settled on insulates and protects the head. So I thought those still um, convey the same idea, um, but in different words. And then the summary, I thought really the most important information from this is that reducing head injury from bicycle accidents can be avoided by wearing a helmet. So um, that was what I just focused on in this one sentence summary, which you can see is much shorter, but then I still do have my um, citation. So that's all for this week's writing tip. Good luck with your paraphrasing. Um, always you can get in touch for writing support and happy writing.